Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Actors Room. I am Amy Swartz, Preservation and Programs Director at Historic St. John's Church. And today I am so pleased to be interviewing Jerry Nateri. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Amy. I'm glad to be here. Oh, so glad to have you. And how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. And I hope you are too and your family as well. It's good to see you. Good to uh, see you seems too. Seems like forever since we've been back to St. John's. You are so right, and I cannot wait for us to all be together again. Yep. So I appreciate your time. So I know you're busy, um, and I would love to start um, by talking a little bit about your background. Where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from New York. Can't you tell? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh, Long Island, actually. Yeah. Okay. That's where I grew up. Okay, and um, and how long have you been in Richmond, the Richmond uh, area? I've been living in Richmond since 1987. Okay, okay, and um, tell me about your background because I know you are a professionally trained actor, so I would love to hear a little bit about that. Well, you know, I uh, I wouldn't say I'm professionally trained. There's a lot of uh, actors in the Richmond area who have. Uh, you know, went to school, have degrees uh, in theater, things like that. Um, I did not start acting until I was almost 40. And oh, okay. it was, yeah, it was really by accident, actually. I, uh, I joined this theater group and um, well, actually I met some people and we were involved in another endeavor and they said they belonged to a theater group. And I said, really, how do you get involved with something like that? And they said, well, you just come and volunteer. So I did. And uh, yeah, you know, one thing led to another and I got cast in a couple of shows and, you know, I found that I had some ability and I found the thing I love to do that I would do, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I would do it for free, 12 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> I but will they, keep that in the back of my head. <laughs> yeah, they say if you can find the thing you love to do, you never have to work a day in your life. That's so right. I was, I was really blessed for that to happen to me. Well, that's great. And tell yeah. me, how long have you been a cast member at St. John's? Uh, that's a tough one. I was thinking about that. Um, I'm going to say uh, it's, it's 2020. I had to have started St. John's sometime around 2000, 2001, 2002, something like that, or maybe even a year before. Uh, okay. So it's, uh, it's in the neighborhood of 20 years. Wow. And um, did you answer a casting call or how did you get No, involved? we didn't have casting calls in those days. Um, okay. I got a phone call from Tom McGranahan mm -hmm. asking me to fill in. Because uh, gotcha. back, back then they had very, they don't, didn't have the number of shows we have today. They mostly had the summer shows and they mostly had the same people in the same role week after week after week. And if somebody couldn't make it for some reason, they would scramble to find a replacement. So, okay. Yeah. All right. He called me and I came down. That's great. And that's all she wrote. So yeah. tell, tell me, what is your favorite role in the, of all the delegates? Uh, well, you know, the, the basic premise of the show is Patrick Henry's speech and having, having been, uh, privilege to do that on a number of occasions. As an actor, it's, it's a speech that I can, you can really get your teeth into, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, mm -hmm. That really you can, you can allow your range to take over and, and uh, feel the nuances and the expressions and the energy of the speech. Um, right. You know, uh, I did Richard Henry Lee for a long time and I enjoyed mm -hmm. that. I actually did it in that video that we have. Um, and I've since, I enjoy them all really, uh, you know, they're all a different energy. Um, the, the president requires a, a, an impeccable sense of timing so that he doesn't cut other actors off. Right. Um, uh, Edmund Pendleton, I, I, I do, and I, I take very seriously that he is the counterpoint to Henry. So mm -hmm. he has to kind of set the tone for Henry's energy. If he's, if he's right. laid back or lackluster or not passionate, then we may not have a passionate Henry. Um, you know. Right, right. For those who haven't been privileged enough to see the show, is that after Pendleton, the energy starts to really peak with uh, the, the pro and con. So, and from there, it should go up. Uh, 
So Pendleton's an important vital turning point role. Right. And so what does keep you involved for all these years? What is it that um, brings you back? Um, you know, that's changed over the years. Um, primarily, I'm an actor and, and I need to act. So that's, that's at the heart of it. In, in the early years, uh, it was that I have to act and, and we, we were beginning to make uh, decent money doing it because we were doing a number of shows. Uh, I, for a lot of years, I was doing the murder mystery dinner shows on, on Friday and Saturday, and then we would do St. John's on Sunday. And uh, yeah, with Kevin, Kevin, you remember Kevin? Uh, mm -hmm. We did, we did the murder been. mystery dinner show together. And it, there were many Sundays when people would come to the show and afterwards they would come up and imitate our character from the night ah. before to say ah. mystery dinner. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and so, so then uh, over time, gradually it began to be a, a, a sense of uh, the purpose of this, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I think I've, I've mentioned to you before, um, uh, after, after we lost Kevin and, and uh, you guys stepped up um, and asked us to more or less really help with the overall picture, then it mm -hmm. became more of a sense of ownership and legacy uh, to see this thing develop and be even better than ever before and to go forward like that. I have to say that now uh, we probably have the best um, uh, contingent of, of actors, uh, dedicated people than ever in, in all the years I've been there. Um, uh, wow. I just really feel good about it going forward into the future. Yeah. That's great. That's yeah. great. Well, we feel the same. We absolutely love our St. John's family right. um, and appreciate all that you all do for us and really bringing the passion and, you know, you can, you can tell, you know, the love of the show comes out in all of you guys and right. after so many 80 shows a year it is a lot so um, we right. appreciate your your enthusiasm right. um switching gears a little bit are there any bloopers that you can remember that are memorable exceptionally memorable <laughs> uh yeah you know there's so many um <laughs> you know it was one day we had as you know we sometimes will have shows back to back and the second show was late okay so we were all sitting around in the in the actor's studio waiting um to find out when the show would start and i got on the phone with a friend of mine and i was outside in my just shirt and vest and everything mm -hmm. and i actually got to the point in the call when i said i wish they would hurry up and show up and the bell started ringing to call oh. the delegates right oh my gosh the guys i don't know how they missed me i was sitting right there but they all walked <laughs> up the hill and never said a word I was right. doing Richard Henry Lee at the time, okay? I ran up the steps to the door. The door was locked. I ran to the gift shop, got the key, ran back, threw on oh my best shirt, ran up the hill, and Henry was reading his resolution. And of what? course, you know, Richard Henry Lee has to stand up and second him. And uh, so I stood up to second the resolution, and I, I could barely breathe. You know, oh my and, gosh. and I'm, I'm seconding the resolution and I look at Kevin and he gets this little grin on his face <laughs> like, ha ah, ah, I know you're having a hard time. Oh um, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, so, and there's been quite a few instances like that um, mm -hmm. over the years, you know, uh, some funny, not some so funny, like the day Steve uh, almost collapsed and we had to catch him, you know. Right. But, uh, yeah, no, there's been uh, all kinds of interesting little things. Just getting dressed was interesting in, 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 the, in the beginning. It was sure. kind of like, yeah, you had to get there first to get a costume that wasn't uh, like lining all ripped out or a wig, but you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. You, know, you could get there, you know? Oh great. my gosh. Thankfully, we're in much better shape these days. We are, we are. Yep. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for your time. It has been You're a welcome. pleasure to talk to you. Okay. And I look forward to seeing you in person real soon. Yeah. We can't wait to get back on the site. Yeah, yeah. It won't be that much longer, I don't think. Hopefully. I hope, I all hope right. not. Well, thank you, Amy, for all you guys do, you and, and both Sarahs. And uh, we'll see you soon. Okay? Thank you. And thank yeah. you all so much for watching. Tune in next time for another interview with a cast member. All right. Bye.